Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the January 2010 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 20. Alright, now the question is Two boys were rowing a boat. Several soldiers came to the river and asked for the boat to cross over. The boat was so small that it could only hold two boys or one soldier. Now, how many river crossings are necessary to get 10 soldiers to the other side of the river? Alright, now we will start by making a simulation of the boys and soldiers crossing the river, and then we will hopefully find a pattern which will shorten the process of finding the solution. Okay, now let's pretend that this is the river. And that the two boys and the ten soldiers are all on this side, so the same side. Okay, so now we have three possibilities of who will row their boat to the other side. Now the first possibility is that one soldier will go over here, then the second possibility is that one boy will row over here, and the third possibility is that the two boys will row on the other side of the river. Alright, now let's check the first possibility. Now if we were to have the one soldier row to the other side of the river, well, we would have to have someone row the boat back. So the soldier would be going to the other side and back, and we would be back to where we started with no effect, so that would just be a waste. So now let's check possibility two. Now it is the same thing if the boy goes over to the other side, he would also have to row the boat back. So again, we would be back to where we started with no effect. So we know that it must be possibility three, which is the two boys rowing to the other side of the river. Okay, so now we just have two possibilities for who will row the boat back, and either the first one is that both boys will row the boat back, but then again, we would be back to where we started with no effect, and that would be a waste of two crossings, so therefore only one boy will row the boat back, and one will stay here. Okay, so now we have one boy on this side. So now we only have two possibilities. The first possibility is that one boy, that boy that rowed back, will go back to here, but then we are where we started, which is then just the two boys going over. So therefore, we will have one soldier row to the other side of the river. And now, not to waste two river crossings, we will not have a soldier, the same soldier row back. We will have that one boy row back to where everyone else is. And then, as we can see, we are back to where we started, except that we now have this one soldier on the other side of the river. So now we have found a pattern. We can see after four river crossings, we are back to where we started with another soldier on the other side of the river. Alright, so now since we want the 10 soldiers to get to the other side of the river, we will do 10 times 4, which is 40. So we know that after 40 river crossings, those 10 soldiers would be on the other side of the river. But, now, since the question asks only the 10 soldiers to get to the other side of the river, we don't really care what the two boys do after those 10 soldiers are on the other side of the river. So since we will not, since the last crossing is just that one boy getting to the other side, again with his friend, we will not count that last crossing because the 10 soldiers will already all be on the other side of the river. So therefore, we will have 40 minus 1, which is 39. So the answer is that 39 river crossings are necessary to get 10 soldiers to the other side of the river. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca caribou.